Welcome back guys. This is uh, problem number two whereby now we prove the co-ratio now. At the, on the on um, previous video we proved the 180 rule. Now we're going to prove the co-ratio uh, using our compound. Now let me write a problem whereby we are proving. Right, let's just change the color there. There we go. Let me write the problem that you're going to be proving. Alright, so this is the problem that we're going to be proving, which is, uh, uh, can we make it cos? No, we did cos last time. Let me just make it sine. Let's make it sine. Sine, let's say, uh, 270 minus theta. Alright, so if you still remember the core ratio, Again, if you don't remember the core ratio rules, guys, I've made a video based on core ratios and how to solve some of the problems. So go and watch those videos there. They are in the playlist. And also, I'm going to leave uh, one of the videos on the icon there and also in the description. All right. So this should give you... Remember, this is the... What quadrant is this? This is the third quadrant. 270 minus the third quadrant. We know that sine is negative there. But then, we, we, here's a, how we're going to write it. We're going to write negative, and then the co-ratio of sine is cos. So this is going to be co negative cos theta. So this is the question. Now, the, using this um, compound angles, we can prove that this side is the same as that side by using the compound angles. Just like our previous video, if you so happen that you're watching this video there is another video whereby i prove the 180 rule as well now let me write the formula for sign so if again you didn't watch the videos whereby i was uh, explaining the formulas for compound angles there is i think it's part one on this playlist of videos all right so sign the formula for sine is sine A plus B or minus B equaling to sine A cos B plus or minus sine B cos A. Now, this is a formula for sine in compound angles, guys, right? So, we're going to use this formula here to prove that on this side, to prove this side, that the left-hand side is equaling to the right-hand side. All right. Now, let's do it. Okay. Now, which sign we have to use? The following so b in this case i mean 270 in this case is the same as a so it's gonna be sine 270 multiply now in this case theta is the same as b so we can say cos theta all right so this is gonna be minus now with the sign when it comes to this formula, the sine, the sine is not like, oh, sorry about that one, guys, sorry, I don't know what happened, let me just go back, go back, alright, yes, with this, with sine, fortunate enough, sine, this angle here, this, this sine here is the same even here, remember, we have plus or minus there guys okay we have plus or minus there so here when it's negative when it's sign maybe like 270 minus theta it's gonna be negative here as well which is very very good all right if it's positive it's gonna be positive here so with sign the signs don't actually change all right let me undo this let me undo this okay now let's continue so it's going to be minus now we have to have 
we have to write sine b but in this case what is our sine b our sine b is theta theta is b multiplied by cos a in this case what is a to 70 now if you if you insert this on a calculator 270 sine 270 you will get negative 1 multiplied by cos theta minus now this is going to be sine theta and then cos 270 is going to give you 0 now if you multiply here sine theta with 0 this is going to be 0 but if you multiply this is going to be minus cos theta and this is going to be 0 so our final answer is going to be minus cos theta which is exactly the same as the right hand side if you look on your right hand side which is this side is the same as that i hope you guys understand this uh problem if it so happened that you didn't understand or maybe it so happened that uh you 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 you, you have questions do not forget to ask on the comment section and also you can share this to your friends who do not understand how to use compound angles to prove the co ratios thank you very much guys for watching do not forget to subscribe and like if this video helped you to understand better until next time cheers